audience members being special interest financial donors. No tickets for those who don't vote with dollars. The reason why politicians talk a good game but don't do a thing because they need your vote. But surely, for whatever they promise, the dollar provokes. Those with the most promotes the candidate for their own interests. Keynotes from super PACs, political action committees that deceivingly attack the average hardworking folks. Claiming the rich will see a hike in tax, when in reality, it's the average hardworking people going to college for a decent job that's under attack. For better conditions, hyphen org dot webs dot com. Support the cause. This taste for big money in politics hasn't stopped supporters from finding ways to financially back their presidential candidate. Oh no. Any group of supporters can create a super PAC. That's a political action committee. You see. They fund the the uh, political actions of a campaign. You see. For example, the National Nurses United for Patient Protection endorsed Bernie Sanders in his run for president in 2016. The actual union itself is called National Nurses United. It so happens to be the largest nurses union in America, by the way. They have already spent well over 500000 in support of Bernie Sanders. According to the Federal Election Commission, the group qualifies as a super PAC. Union organizers, along with head directors of nonprofit organizations, who find it in their best interest to keep that direct line of funding political candidates that best suits their organization's interests, disagree and rejects the Federal Election Commission's qualifications of what makes a super PAC. Many say that super PACs are corrupt. The executive director of National Nurses United itself said, and I quote, they're a way for billionaires to influence the political process and spend unlimited money. This is nurses who want to get our support for Bernie Sanders out there. That's way different than the Koch brothers. This isn't big money. I think the people understand the difference. Unquote. You know, this provides a disconnect between public perception of what a super PAC is and how they operate according to the Federal Election Commission. We must honestly ask ourselves, is every union and organization really earnestly for the American people, the humanity of all citizens, or is there a deeper bottom line? Are there deeper motives hidden in a hierarchy of these unions and organizations and who are the major funders and financial backers of these unions and organizations? Just like billionaire George Soros can donate money to adbusters, and then adbusters turn around and financially fund the Occupy Wall Street movement. Just like the Rockefeller Foundation can donate money to feminist movements and activities, and those same feminist groups that had benefited from the donation goes and financially back Hillary Clinton in her presidential campaign. And here's the big one. Who controls the flow of money within society? If nothing goes in line and in interests of the elite, they'll just shut it down. There has always been a strong benefit in having friends in high places. The elite and those in power are very versatile and flexible. They'll go along to get along and invest and donate to their opposition. As long as the ending result is in their favor. Who are the major funders and financial backers of these unions and organizations? Who funds and financially supports the funders and financial backers of the unions and organizations? If one should follow the money and see that it leads back to the elite, then we'll have the true understanding of the bottom line when it comes to unions and organizations that help fund political campaigns. For no one wants the gravy train to stop. 
Therefore, don't expect them to actually bite the hand that feeds them. In order to truly get rid of super PACs and special interests, we would have to get rid of the power of money. What happened if we could create a society where we could build you your dream home? If you only, if you only help build 10 other dream homes for 10 other different people. Actually putting the power in the hands of the people instead of money. While there are many politicians denouncing big money, many unions and organizations will use their super PACs as an outside external influence. As one president of a union said, we will respect the wishes of not forming super PACs to financially support campaigns, but we will use all legal and possible resources to support our candidate physically and even financially to get him elected. If there's a will, there is a way. For better conditions, hyphen org dot webs dot com. Support the cause. What we do is help people provide a small financial relief to each other while giving you the conscious information of why it's a revolution in the first place. For better conditions, hyphen org dot webs dot com. Support the cause. Each one teach one, each one help one.